Good morning, guys. We have a load once again, but look at it. You may be already asking, Yusuf, wasn't your uh, Kenworth uh, was a blue one? Yes, it was. But why are you using the black, the power only uh, Kenworth? Because I am still waiting for my apportioned plate to arrive and it is gonna take a little while because I messed up the paperwork. <laughs> so I am just putting this black Kenworth to, to use because uh number one i want my drivers to uh to see if they want to do a flatbed if they are okay with doing flatbed we were gonna we are gonna buy another trailer and have them do flatbed if they don't like it they can stick with the power only but anyways i got my straps my my uh, my corner protectors edge protectors ready to go i bought this trailer for fourteen thousand five hundred, and we're gonna pick up those let me show you you see those uh those steel bars guess how much this load weighs it weighs 46,500 pounds <laughs> my first load really heavy uh, but uh, i am i am glad that it's heavy because uh, the weather is not good so uh, the heavier it is the be the better the better i could drive because of the snow but anyways uh, this load is going from albuquerque to santa clara california uh 1050 miles and it's paying 2350 so i am surprised how <laughs> how easy it was to book the book this load uh, the minute that i was ready i got the trailer and and the tarp and everything else i called my dispatcher and said you know what hook me up uh, with a load it was three o'clock in the, in the afternoon and she called me at 3.15 and said, hey, I got this load going to California for 20.30.50. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, that's that's awesome. But anyways, uh, I will be doing a flatbed for a week until I get my um, my IRP. And then from there, we will uh, just go ahead and uh, do it with my own Kenworth. So uh, I'm just waiting for the guy to come and uh, get, me, get me loaded. <laughs> all right guys we are loaded let me go ahead and show you guys what i have on the trailer Forty-six thousand pounds i got 13 13 straps over here so uh, i know i'm good also i got two chains i put all my tarps over here and one of them i put on top because i your boy bought an extra eight foot tarp because i will need it i put chains because i thought i needed them because you see how you're supposed to have uh, a, a strap the first the first two feet so that's technically not not two feet so i went ahead and put a securement a chain over here in the beginning and a chain over here at the end and everything else looks nice and neat let's go ahead and hit the road guys i this is gonna be a team a team load it's not paying team money but we are gonna drop it early so uh we will catch catch up with you guys tomorrow all right guys finally we are loaded strapped secured and we are on the road i am heavy i'm actually glad that i'm heavy because uh the snow is it's crazy i think we're gonna go through gallop and flagstaff so those are the two areas that has a little bit heavy snow so uh being loaded helps a lot especially especially 46 000 pounds you know so this is not a team load. Uh, they said they we, today is Wednesday. They said it's not gonna deliver until Friday. So we called the shipper and they said, you can bring it tomorrow, Thursday, uh, no problem. As long as you get in there between 7.30 a.m. and uh, 9, 9 a.m. So let's swing wide over here. So that's what we are hoping hoping to get there on time because they are gonna unload it on with a crane so 
and it's a job site delivery in Santa Clara, California. So that's gonna be exciting. Anyways, enough talking, let's hit the road. And All right, we're gonna take I-25 south until we get to I-40. Then we'll take I-40 west, going through Flagstaff, Gallup, and then we're gonna take, I think, I-5 north. And then after that, we will be taking 101. I think that is also north. Okay, 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 don't worry, don't worry, we are not broken down. But as I was checking my load, the straps that I put on top of the uh, metal beams, one of them was kind of fraying, it was, it was getting ready to rip at the edges, like you know how you have these. Fortunately, we didn't have any issues, uh, the load shifting or anything like that. What I did, I went ahead and put put all chains on top, some, some uh, straps on the bottom and then chained it up really good the reason that i did not put put straps on top i took the straps off because like you could put a uh, a a metal edge protector on top but then when it comes over here it's not too tight it's not tight enough for it to uh hold the metal the edge protector so that's why i went ahead and took it off but it looks like uh, looks like i'm over skewered i have six chains heavy duty chains on top uh four maybe five chains in the bottom along with five straps so if you look at it uh i'm probably like i should have pound to pound forty six thousand. i think i'm already ninety thousand worth of securement on the on this load so anyways uh, everything is good to go i got one tarp here one tarp there and one tarp in the back so uh, we will continue our journey let's hit the road guys I know, I know, I know the truck is dirty. I will be washing it very soon, but we need to get to California as soon as possible. But that doesn't mean we have to ignore checking the load. Load is nice and secured. All the tarps are nice and secure. We don't have any issues. The chains are holding up pretty, pretty good. So no problems. The tires are nice as well. Uh, kicking those trailer tires. Anyways. Everything else looks pretty good, guys. I am glad. No, no trouble so far. The the dealer gave me gave me a temporary tag, so I have a temporary tag on mine. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe instead of putting a spare wheel over here, I made I may turn it into a toolbox. But I do definitely need to have a toolbox here, so so that I can put my tarps. The only reason that I'm gonna get a toolbox a big toolbox to put all of my tarps in because it is a pain in the butt to uh, to move your tarp every time every time you have a full load you know and sometimes you don't get it secured very good but anyways uh, enough talking let's hit the road one more time guys all right guys it is currently let me see 1 47 in the morning my shift is just over and my brother-in-law is uh, taking over the shift so he's gonna drive i guess eight more hours or something like that or six more hours but uh, anyways the ship the receiver called me and said that uh, that they wouldn't have the crane ready for me to get me unloaded until uh 11 o'clock in the morning they were supposed to get me unloaded at 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning but uh now we have three hours to hang around <laughs> but that will put us a little late on our next pickup which we have already set up but anyways things like that ha happens uh, and we just have to be okay with it i am worn out right now so i'm gonna hit the bed real quick and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow i mean talk to you guys today because uh, today is uh, today is tomorrow <laughs> anyways uh, you could tell that I'm worn out. Good morning, guys. We are almost here. We are currently at uh, the Petro in Santa Nea, California. Uh, we did arrive here at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, so uh, I was sleeping, I was sleeping, but uh, 
my brother-in-law went ahead and uh, took a nap also he prepared something good but anyways the load is good the load is nice and secure everything is tight the trailer is good the truck is good as well but let me show you guys what he has done for me when i woke up i'm like oh my god i have the best brother-in-law ever let me show you guys what he has done oh breakfast look we got tea we got eggs we got bread what else we got honey what else are you you're asking for yourself wait let's go ahead and devour on this meal and hit the road deliver this load and pick the pick the uh, next one All right guys, just got uploaded and we are off to the next one. This will do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.